हेलो गाइज वेलकम ऑल माई निंजास आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग गुड वेलकम टू येट अनदर वंडरफुल सेशन हियर एट वी एन थी चैनल सो गाइज इफ यू आर ऑल एक्साइटेड एंड इफ योर जोश इज वेरी वेरी हाई गिव मी अ थम्स अप इन द चैट एवरीबडी राइट नाउ हाई मैथ्यू बर्नी वेरी नाइस टू हैव यू हियर मैन निंजा किरण कुमार इज हियर कैटलिस फैन क्लब वेरी गुड वेरी नाइस टू सी यू हियर अनचार्टेड Kirito, Sai Bhargav, Shreya, Harini is also there. Great, so nice to see everybody enthusiastic and right on time. Hi Dominic, hi Shreya, Jashwant, Himanshu, welcome man. Who are Shri? Welcome. Jumana, welcome. Ajit, welcome Ajit. Nice to have you here. Anisha is also here. Welcome Anisha. Brilliant. Yes, 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 Rocky. We will try to discuss the problems because this is a sprint session. It is for your 12th standard friends. Okay, Paul Samuel, welcome, man. Hi, Vikas. So, guys, shall we begin? This is a wonderful topic called as indefinite integration, which is part of your calculus in your 12th standard, and it is one of the biggest chapters in your 12th standard. How many of you have seen NCERT book? Exactly, Kirito. We are going to learn a very powerful jutsu, and you guys are going to master it by the end of today's session. Okay, so if you all can recollect, NCERT seventh chapter is indefinite integration, and it's so huge. You have eleven exercises. Have you ever seen that in NCERT? Eleven exercises. It is pakka, a very very big chapter. Why can't we have definite? Because definite comes after indefinite. first you should learn how to integrate then only you see integral with limits because definite integral is basically integration with the limits that's it are you all able to understand barney says 13 exercises brilliant and guys i have a very very big news for you so today at night 10:30 pm we have a session how many of you are aware of it okay okay anisha don't worry i will explain it so that everybody can try and once i solve the questions you guys will understand okay so don't worry yes vikas you have sufficient time you can make it big don't worry today night the session is about pnc we are still left out with few important topics okay so i will complete that so are you all excited will you all be there are everyone aware of it 10:30 pm be there on time we will have a great time together guys okay it will be a fun session because it's going to be midnight session so we'll start at 10:30 i will take it up to 11:30 and who knows i can wish you guys good night and go got it so let's begin and before we get started i always try to introduce myself for all those who are new to this channel guys my name is shimon joseph and i teach maths at vedantu and to talk about my background I did my BTEC from IIT Madras, and I have been in teaching ever since. As soon as I graduated, I got into teaching because I was very passionate about it. And when I was like you guys, I wrote exams like KVPY, and I cleared it. And I wrote JE mains. I was one of the state toppers in Tamil Nadu. So that is my background. And to talk about my personal handles, this is my Instagram account. You guys can try to get in touch with me there. because i respond to each and every person who messages me okay very good banu <laughs> yes lakshmi welcome navami vijayan welcome at 10:30 we love pnc lecture manjunath pnc permutation and combination so let's begin this is the schedule so we are at friday so we are here today at integration and tonight we will have pnc at 10:30 pm so guys please mark your calendars and be there at 10:30 today kvpy the first session will be on sunday especially for vimal vimal i'm going to expect you on that session because you were the one who asked for it and just for you one voice i am coming up with a kvpy course on sunday so make sure you bring your friends and let's have a great time okay 
and uh, this is a menti menti session tomorrow you have with wazim sir and that will be on chemistry got it so guys everybody who is new here welcome and it is a very very great feeling for any teacher to have new students come and grace this channel so we have lot of people here welcome aditya i am sure you guys are in for a great time so if you are here and if you enjoy the place then definitely subscribe because we can have a great time together over the next 3 4 months okay so with that let's get started with the session integration listen very carefully guys first of all i want you to understand that integration is the reverse process of differentiation integration is the reverse process of differentiation why because the other name for integrals is primitive or anti derivative so this is the other name which people use for integration are you guys clear with that it is either called as primitive or anti derivative now what is meant by primitive i will explain it so let us say there is a function phi of x now i am differentiating phi of x so if i differentiate phi of x what will i get don't you all agree i will get phi dash of x because that is how i write derivative now phi dash of x is equal to f of x are you all clear with it everybody so what can be said over here what can be said over here can you guys agree can you guys agree the integral of f of x is phi of x and the differential of phi of x is f of x now can you understand that why they are called as reverse process let me give you another example so let us differentiate so let us differentiate sin x so if i differentiate sin x we all know it is cos x now do you agree do you agree integral of cos x should give me what so this is why i call integration to be the reverse process of differentiation are you all able to get that very easily now one thing which everybody can ask me here is sir why did you not add the integration constant and i didn't finish saying that jashwant has already asked it can you see that so now i want to explain this because that is a mathematics concept and i want you guys to be rock stars you should know everything very clearly so i am going to explain it so please listen carefully guys why do we add integration constant sir my school teacher if i don't add that plus c she cuts minus 1 sir yes that's because when you do indefinite integration you are supposed to add a constant why let me take a very simple example let us say dy by dx is equal to 1 okay so what does this mean this means slope of the curve is always equal to 1 do you all agree with me on that does this mean slope of the curve is always equal to 1 so can i say this is nothing but a straight line can i say this is nothing but a straight line so this is nothing but a straight line whose slope is 1 so can i can i find a unique straight line with slope 1 no there are infinitely many straight lines which have slope equal to 1 because this is slope equal to 1 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 i can find many parallel lines which have slope equal to 1 are you guys able to follow are you guys able to follow that that is why when i integrate dy is equal to dx by taking this to the other side and if i integrate i will put not y equal to x because if i put y equal to x it's a single line which is wrong because the correct answer is now the c takes care of these infinite solutions are you able to understand that isn't it beautiful did you guys get it yes banu in definite integration it is not required because you have upper limit and lower limit so it will get cancelled 
everybody clear with it vsg everybody so this is the logic or concept behind why we add the integration constant so never never ever forget it okay very good hi ali welcome man so nice to have you here so this is how you do indefinite integration so integration is given by the symbol this one so whenever you have integration the symbol is given by integral f of x dx and that will be equal to some capital f of x plus c so this is how indefinite integration will work okay so now everybody is asking sir what is the difference between indefinite and definite let me answer that so this is called as your indefinite integration i i now definite integration means dominic it will be from integral a to b f of x dx you would have seen this a lot in physics so that will be equal to capital f of b minus capital f of a so we will study about this in detail dominic don't worry about it we will study this in the next chapter the next topic which i will take is definite integration i will talk about it okay yes are you all clear very good very good now let's move forward let's try to tackle some questions but before that you need to equip yourself with a lot of formulas yes yes paul definitely i'll make sure i call you paul from now subdha very warm welcome so nice to have you here how effective is our reservations in je ranking Manjunath, ideally I would recommend you not to think about it. Don't think in terms of reservation. Think as though you are in the general category and you want to clear it. Okay? Because the moment you start thinking reservation, you will become casual. So don't do that. Hi Srinidhi, welcome. You are on time. We are just getting started. So guys, everybody is aware of this formula. You might have studied this in your physics. you know what is integral x power n you know what is integral 1 by x everybody clear of it integral of cos x is nothing nothing but your sin x i will show you in the next slide we have lot of formulas to make note of okay okay barni general category has any reservations no man general category is the common pool okay apart from that you have other reservations i will talk about it later venkatesh is asking sir can you please derive these formulas so venkatesh the easiest way to do it is differentiate your right hand side venkatesh venkatesh can you do that can you do it along with me very easily we can do it venkatesh so if i differentiate this what will i get what is d by dx of x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so that is nothing but n plus 1 into x to the power n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 so n plus 1 n plus 1 will get cancelled that is nothing but x to the power n are you getting it venkatesh so if i differentiate the right hand side i get my left hand side function inside the integral so that is how you understand how integration and differentiation are nothing but the reverse process of each other as simple as that okay ishant i'll be discussing the concepts and a few basic questions if you are looking for exact advance level then you'll have to wait for some time because this session is up to je mains level okay advance level i will come up with another session ishant okay So shall we move forward Sonu welcome man no problem take your formulas down Definitely Ishant So if you are really interested to watch advanced level problem solving you can refer to my previous videos Ishant For example I have done lot of videos on advanced level problems in Vedantu JEE channel So right now it is become the Hindi channel right we have arvind kalia sir so there you can go and check it i have lot of 
good questions discussed over there okay perfect so this is the second set of formulas guys i hope everybody knows this so i'm going to go forward quickly because all of this should have been done in your physics 11 standard i will take it the next week ali Perfect, perfect. Yes, Kiran, I've already explained it. I showed you why we use plus C, right? I hope you guys are clear. So here we go. The first question, very, very interesting one. I want all of you to try it. Please think about it, guys. I want you to evaluate x secant square x cosecant square x. So CSC means cosecant x, okay? I hope you guys are clear with that. So C S C X is nothing but cosecant of X. Okay. So now try to solve it guys. Everybody. Sir, so much formulae. How to remember these? Venkatesh, most of these formulas are from your 11th standard. Okay. So try to check it out because you would have used it in physics. But don't worry, you need not memorize all of them at once. I would recommend you to solve some questions. Very good, very good Manjunath. Very good Kirito, Anisha, Sonu, Barani. You guys are all absolutely right. Okay, so Venkatesh, just watch the way I'm doing and check if you remember those formulas or not. Because it is not as difficult as it looks. You might trend to think there are lots of formulae and you need to remember all of them. No. Start off with basics. And if you are well at the basics, you can actually make it big. Okay. So this question, I am so happy that many of your friends have cracked it. Because it is not as scary as it looks. So from the outside, it looks like a great question. Sir, this looks like it can come in JE mains also. No guys, it's actually pretty easy. Harini, don't worry Harini, I will explain it. Then you tell me whether it is difficult or easy, okay? So secant square x, can I write it as 1 by sine square x? Into 1 by cos square x? Yeah? So secant square x is 1 by cos square x. Cosecant square x is 1 by sine square x. Are you all fine with that? Everybody cool with it? Exactly Jashwan, you got it, you nailed it. So this one also I will write it as 1 by cos square x plus 1 by sin square x. Now guys, can you take the LCM of the denominator? Can you do that Harini? Can you take the LCM of the denominator? So if I do that Harini, what will I get in the denominator? I will get sin square x because I will multiply this over here, this over here plus cos square x by I'll multiply both of them. Sin square x cos square x. Now what is this Harini? Sin square x plus cos square x is 1. Everybody knows that because we know that trigonometric identity because we have been studying it for a long time. So it is 1 by sin square x cos square x. So can I write the denominator as 1 by sin square x cos square x? So if I write it as 1 by sin square x cos square x can I cancel this and this and this and this? So the entire integral now reduces to x dx. So did you need any formula? Did you need any great observation? Any great formula you have to memorize to answer this question? No, it is not needed. Okay, so the answer is x square by 2 dx. Are you all fine with that? Got it guys? Everybody? So that is the way to do it. Any questions you have? Venkatesh, are you able to understand Venkatesh? Sir, did you take x common on the numerator? It is multiplied now, Barni. It is already multiplied. So I didn't take common. It is just stated like that. Are you able to understand Barni? 
Yes, very good guys, superb. So that is the way you do it. So the answer was B and so many students were correct. So all of you get a very, very, very good star. Okay, so great job ninjas. Keep it up and let's see if all my ninjas can maintain the same form. Okay, so let us go ahead to the next one. So here we go. Guys, if you are all enjoying the sessions here at Vedantu's Enthuse channel with me, Wazim sir and Shrey sir, then definitely check out the pro subscription because we have so many brilliant teachers in the platform, you have to meet them. Okay, so this is your chance. And like I said, we have teachers with more than five plus years of experience. You have crash course, you have Hindi and English, both languages we have classes. You have 5000 plus hours of live teaching. So if you want to make it big at the advanced level, then now is your opportunity. Because let me tell you one more thing. Guys, the Ekalavya batches are starting in January and February. So if you want to make it into the so-called Ekalavya batch, the toppers, Vedantu's Ekalavya batch is renowned all over the country. People literally want to get into the batch because that guarantees a top rank. I have seen it happen. Last year, we had 547 selections in IIT Advance. Do you think it's a simple feat? 547 selections. That's because of the masterclass Eklavya batch. So you can make a part of it only if you are in the YouTube channels, only if you are there in the crash courses or as part of the pro subscription. Okay, so make sure you guys are part of something. What is the difference between pro subscription and normal class? Pro subscription will give you a personal mentor. There will be someone like a teacher taking care of you. They will call you, they will coordinate with you, they will tell you what to solve, how to solve, how much time to dedicate. All that personal mentoring will happen. You will get assignments, you will get tests, you will get test series, you will get KVPY, you will get IIT JE mains and advanced. Everything part of pro subscription. You can go for monthly or you can go for yearly. It is up to you. But if you take a normal class, it is only that chapter which will get completed. You will not have a personal mentor. You will, you will not be getting all the other additional exams. KVPY is part of the pro subscription, you can check it. But Ekalavya batch is free. Ekalavya batch is free for everybody. It is free of cost for everybody. But you need to be a part of Vedantu. We will send out a form so that you guys can fill and be a part of it. So your best chance is to be in the pro subscription or at least in the crash course so that you are well informed. Got it? Very good. Ninja Kiran Kumar, you have to take the pro classic or the pro plus subscription. Pro light will include only courses. So what I'm showing now Kiran Kumar is the pro classic and pro plus subscription. Okay, you have to check it. How can we join? Guys, we will send out a form. So please wait for it. Not right now. It will always be as soon as the first JE mains gets over. Okay. Yes, Tatwa is more than enough for JE advance. So guys, for 2021 batch, we have a 20% offer going on. For those who are interested, this is the coupon code and I've shared the link on your chat. Click on it right now and if you are thinking maybe Vedantu can help you, maybe Ekalavya batch can help you, then this is your best way. Guys, Ekalavya batch is free but please remember Ekalavya batch entry is by a test. Either JE mains you have to do well or you need to be very well performing inside Vedantu. Okay, so if you want to be safe, if you want to be inside Vedantu and be a part of Ekalavya batch, this is the place. Or if you are confident 
sir, I will get 99 percentile in J mains, then that can also be a way. Got it? SJCC is also working and that will give you a price of 7,500, Jashwant is saying. So you are completely free to enroll in whichever batch you like. Ali, Eklavya batch will start only in February. So don't worry about it. That time I will let you know personally in this channel. That is my guarantee. So are you guys ready? Shall we come back to integration? How many of you are ready and pumped up for this session? Can you guys give me a thumbs up? Quickly guys, everybody. Yup. Very, very good. So ninjas, let's focus. Come on. The, the best quality of a ninja is silence and full focus. So let's try to develop that and come back over here. So here we go, the next question. Please solve it, guys. Everybody, please try to solve it. We have an amazing question for you over here. You may not have seen any question like this before. We have D of X square plus 1. Sir, what is that? And how do we do it? Think about it. I want you guys to try. Okay. Everybody try it out and then we will do it. Sir, differentiate numerator and substitute. Rakesh, very good Rakesh. But I have an even simpler way Rakesh. You will be amazed at the way I am going to tell. Listen very carefully. Anisha says, Sir, maybe option C. Okay. Anisha, we will check it in a while. Kirito also says it is option C. Barani says A. Very good Rakesh. So nice to see you man. Welcome. Guys, the answer is option A. It is not B. It is not C. It is not D. It is option A. And let me show you how it is done. Okay. Very good Sonu. Very good Barani. So guys, do you all agree? This question can be written as integral 1 by 2 root x square plus 2 into d of x square plus 2. Do you guys agree with me on that? How many of you feel? Sir, no sir. Can't you see? Here it is 1 sir. Why did you write as 2? Because guys, it is differentiation. Differentiation of 1 or differentiation of 2 doesn't matter. Both are 0. Are you guys getting it? Was it brilliant? Was it brilliant? Did you guys like that step? Because that makes your life much easier. Isn't it Anisha? Are you able to get that? Because I can take now x square plus 2 as t. So if I do that, I will get dt by 2 root t. So what will that be? Very, very good. So this will be 1 by 2 integral t to the power minus half dt. So that we know how to integrate. t to the power minus half is integral of that is t to the power plus half by half plus c. So that will be equal to root of t plus c. And what is root of t? Root of t is nothing but option A. Now people will ask, sir, where is the plus c, sir? That is why I answered option D. Did anyone do that? If you guys did it, you guys are the best man. You will get full marks in CBAC. I am guaranteeing you. Okay. Very good, very good. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Ali, that's right. Are you guys clear with it? Did everybody like it? So shall we move forward? No problem guys. We will learn lots of cool stuff like this as we progress. I am so happy that everybody is able to understand. Slowly, you guys will get the hang of it. Okay. So, perfect. Yes, Kashyap. I will quickly explain. Hi, Mega Garg. Welcome. Uh, Matthew, the right answer is A. That should be a plus C. But that doesn't matter. It's okay, man. Okay. Answer is A, Matthew. So, Mega Garg and... Who else? Kashyap is asking, Sir, can you please explain again? So Kashyap, I did a very, very good move over here. The first step was beautiful. So I want to explain that. So first step, what I did was, I changed D of X square plus 1 
टू डी ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू का शब बिकॉज डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ वन एंड डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ टू आर बोथ जीरो राइट सो इट डजेंट मैटर बट इफ आई राइट इट एज टू इट मेक्स माई जॉब वेरी इजी इट मेक्स माई जॉब मच मच बेटर got it so that is why i add one over there exactly so now now i try to take x square plus 2 as t so that will be dt and your denominator will be 1 by 2 root t this can be integrated very easily man this is a very laddu integration you would have done much more complicated integration in your physics 11 standard i'm sure in physics 11 standard you guys have lot of integration based questions right so this should be an easy one this should be an easy one and even in chemistry you have integration so compared to that this is a laddu question i hope you guys got it hi anush welcome man nice to see you here okay so shall we move forward everybody great so let us go ahead to the next part which i have for you The next part is properties of indefinite integration. What are the properties? The properties listen very carefully. So when you have integral of differential, it is equal to the function itself. So let's try it with an example. All these I will explain with an example. So if you guys have d by dx of integral sin x dx, what will you get? Don't you think you will get sin x only outside? because integral sin x is what integral sin x is minus cos x plus c now i need to differentiate that so differential of minus cos x plus c is sin x so when you have differential of integral of f of x it is nothing but f of x because these two are reverse process of each other so they will nullify are you guys able to understand that are you guys able to follow that isn't it a brilliant observation are you all able to get it so shall i move to the second one yep brilliant so what does the second one say so second one says if you have a scalar multiplied to a function and you are integrating them the scalar can be taken outside why the scalar can be taken outside any guesses because like differentiation integration is a reverse process so even in differentiation we can take scalar outside a very similar property got it and the third one is pretty simple and fourth one is also explanatory fifth and sixth are very interesting did you guys understand fifth and sixth can you guys tell me k is a constant yes 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 scalar means constant yes So how do you do the fifth and sixth one? Do you want me to explain? I will explain it. Please listen carefully. So in the fifth one, what I will do is I will take f of x as t. So I will get f dash of x dx as dt. So what will be my left hand side? It will become dt by t, and that is nothing but ln of t plus c. So ln of t means what? Ln of f of x plus c did you guys understand that so this is called as the substitution method this is called as the substitution method are you guys clear with it everybody this one did everybody understand yes yes i will come to the fourth one also don't worry about it i will come to the fourth one also but right now i want you guys to tell me whether you have got this everybody clear this is called as substitution method so kirito the fourth one is also substitution because here i will take ax plus b as t kirito so if i differentiate i will get a dx is equal to dt so can i say dx is equal to dt by a so this integral will become integral f of t dx is dt by a now integral f of t dt f of t dt will be capital f of t and i have a by a and then you will have plus c now what is t t is nothing but ax plus b so that is nothing but f of ax plus b 
डिवाइडेड बाई ए प्लस सी आर यू गाइज एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीबडी क्लियर विद दैट एग्जैक्टली सर कैन वी कैलकुलेट लॉग जीरो अली नो लॉग टू बी डिफाइंड द क्वांटिटी इन साइड लॉग शुड बी ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव अली डिड यू ऑल गेट इट गाइज दीज आर ऑल वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअल आई एम सो हैपी दैट यू आर एक्सपोज टू ऑल दिस एट दिस स्टेज इट शुड गिव यू अ लॉट ऑफ बूस्ट सो शैल वी प्रोसीड टू क्वेश्चन लेट let us put them to practice okay everybody ready log x is not equal to 1 yes yes are you guys clear perfect hajira very good hajira i am so happy that you are understanding everything here so last one is also done in a similar fashion i hope you guys are clear so let's move ahead two questions now everybody please try it out okay very good so guys i want you to evaluate integral 3 sin to the power 4x sin 2x dx very good question and i'm going to show you some cool ways of doing it and i want all my 11th standard ninjas to solve it okay because i know you guys are smart you are going to give a tough competition to your 12th standard buddies okay so let's see if you guys can crack it banu prakash is already ready with the answer he says c okay let's check it banu let's wait for your other friends to answer so guys come on take your time think about it but put honest effort that is something which i really like i want everybody to do it on your own you put your own effort and get it right that would be awesome so sukda says d barani says a dia is saying c and yes ali it will be 2 sin x cos x you are right anisha says c uncharted a sonu a so lots of options did we cover all the options okay ali has done it very good ali <laughs> okay so we are left with no option so let's try to solve it now okay so first what i'll do is i will do what ali said even though ali said a b c d ali said one good thing before that what did he say he said sin 2x you can open sir yes i can open ali that's correct so it'll be 2 sin x cos x dx are you all able to follow that Yes, so Kirito, you can solve it. Don't worry. You try to solve it along with me. I will do it slowly because I am explaining each and every step. Now, three into two is a constant. So, can I take it to the front? Can I take it to the front? Are you guys clear with that? Because I am using properties here. This is what I want the eleventh standard guys to understand. Because the twelfth standard guys already know this. they'll be thinking sir why are you explaining all this so many times laddu thing okay but 11 sir guys you have to understand these are all properties okay so now sin power 4 and sin will become sin to the power 5x and then you have cos x dx so now this is a category of problem this is a category of problem and i'm going to discuss it today okay so i will teach you the best way to tackle this do you all know If I take sin x as t, the derivative of sin x is cos x. So cos x dx will be equal to dt. Are you all fine with that, everybody? So this is again based on substitution method. This is again based on substitution method. I hope you guys are clear with it. So now cos x dx will become dt. And sin x power five will become t power five. So it is t power five dt. So that will be six t power six by six plus c. So six and six cancel. T power six is my answer. So what is t power six? T is sin x. So it is option D. Who said that? I think Sukda was the one to tell that. Surender, very good. Kiran Kumar, very good. 
Ali. Yes, that's absolutely right. Matthew, Banu. Very, very good job, guys. Brilliant, Harini. So everybody got it now. Anisha, Rinko is saying B. Rinko, it is option D. I hope you got it now. Are you clear with everything that we did today? Very good, Kavya Darshini. Good job, Dia. Very good, Harshavadini. Brilliant. Yes, Rinko, that's correct. Option D is right. You are absolutely correct. Good job. So let's proceed to the next one which I have for you. Can you guys try this? This one I want you to try it, okay? So I'm going to give you some more time. I will give you all two minutes. But I'll keep talking and giving you hints. Yes, we have many more questions, Ali. Yes, Hajira Banu, that's absolutely right. D is the correct answer. Good job. Keep it up. Okay. So guys, everybody try to solve this. And if you are in 11th standard, we have a session tonight. So if you are interested, please make a note of it and attend it at 10.30 p.m. So that will be my first midnight session. Okay, let's see how it goes. I am really excited and I'm looking forward to it. We split this function. Ali is absolutely right. Yes, Anisha, obviously 12th standard will have an advantage, but don't worry, you guys can also tackle, okay? Because I'm giving you time. Yes, Hajira, but what will you take as T? Think about it. You have to split it, Hajira, just like Ali told, no? So what you have to do is, the first step, Hajira, you have to do like this. You have to do H, X plus two, plus one. Are you getting it? And then you think of something. Now, I hope you guys can do it. Can you guys get it now? Very good, Surender. Very good, VSG. You guys are all awesome. That's absolutely right. Good, Kirito. Good, Uncharted. Good, Surender. Hardik Banu. Yes, all of you are right. Sonu, great. So, everybody understood now. So, what happens is, it will become integral x plus 2 by x plus 2 square plus 1 by x plus 2 square and then dx. So now I can cancel 1 and 1. So it will be integral 1 by x plus 2 plus you will have 1 by x plus 2 the whole square and then you have dx. So this will be what? This will be ln of mod x plus 2. And then integral of this will be what? That will be minus 1 by x plus 2. I hope you guys got that. How, sir? How, sir? Shall we discuss the second part? So, second part is what? 1 by x plus 2 whole square. So, I can write it as 1 by x plus 2 whole square. I can write it like this. So, that integral is second part over here. Because it is nothing but x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So that is how I got the second term. I hope you guys are clear. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes, Jashwan. That is also correct. You can do that as well. Okay. So integration, guys, there can be many ways to reach the answer. And if you are getting option A, you are also right. Okay. You can have more than one way. Got it? So yes, Kiran has asked for it. So all those who got it right, especially Ali. Ali was the first one. Sir, split this, sir. He was right, he was right. So that is why Ali gets to sit on top here. <laughs> okay, so let's move forward. Uh, Rajendra, definite will be next week, man. Okay, so next week I will teach you definite integration. So let's move forward to the next one. Next week, Rajendra, pakka. So this is the next question. Slowly, I'm increasing the level. And as you guys can see, this is a JEE -E mains question previous year. So this was asked in the year 2004. And let me see how many of you are able to get the four marks 
in 2004 okay <laughs> do it do it all of you rajendra kumar says b very quick answer let's see if that is correct maybe maybe not i have just born <laughs> okay 2004 huh? great banu says c sai bhargav says a kirito says a okay let's check it let's check it it has to be a sir kirito is super confident let's check it hints so the hint which i'm going to give you ali any hint man you are the one who goes correct so tell me what do you do option a pakka sir so what you do here is you add and subtract alpha that's it is this correct is this correct do you guys have a problem here now what i'll do i will take this as a and this as b and i will apply sin of a plus b formula what is sin of a plus b formula sin of a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b by what do you have sin of x minus alpha and that is what we need to solve are you guys able to get that everybody this is dx okay yeah everybody clear with this till here did everybody understand this is the way to go for it wonderful na this manipulation that is the beauty of attending these classes when you attend such classes you get this otherwise do you think changing x to x minus alpha and plus alpha is it very intuitive unless you have exposure it is difficult guys even toppers they solve questions they get exposed and because of that their thinking widens so that is a trick it is not magic everybody can do it just requires some effort and some interest from your side okay so that i want everybody to be ready for got it so let's move forward and try to solve this question what do we have here we have integral cos alpha because these two will get cancelled and here what will you have cos x minus alpha by sin x minus alpha cos by sin is cot cot x minus alpha sin alpha dx that's it over are you all clear now it's very easy to solve it because this will be what cos alpha is a constant so you can take it outside so it is just integral of 1 which will be x plus sin alpha is a constant you can take it outside and what is cot of x minus alpha cot of x integration is what cot of x dx integration is ln of sin x okay plus c so this will be what into ln of sin of x minus alpha plus c so that is my answer so what is it cos x sin x so it is going to be cos x sin x so this is the answer which was answered by rajendra kumar in just 10 15 seconds good very very good is that correct guys are you all ready uncharted also said b yes surender you can do that you can do that yes 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 why not are you all clear how many of you got it did you guys love this question did you guys love this question ishan i have no idea what is minerva man i have not heard of it very good very good everybody clear so shall i move forward kiran did you check for mistakes see you have to see what is the coefficient of x that is your a kiran 
सो चेक इफ यू आर वॉचिंग ए कमा बी और डिड यू डू बी कमा ए सो चेक दैट एंड देन डिसाइड वेदर यू गॉट इट करेक्ट और रॉन्ग ओके सो लेट एस मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट वन आर यू ऑल रेडी पीपल एवरीबडी सुपर सो नाउ नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू सब्सटीट्यूशन मेथड फॉर्मली ऑल्सो informally i have used substitution in last two three questions okay informally we have used substitution method in the last two three questions but now let's look at it formally okay let's see what is substitution and guys don't take it lightly because it is one of the most powerful methods it is one of the most powerful methods substitution jitsu i think that actually is there right so it looks like a proper jutsu the most famous one is the cloning one i don't know whether we can use that in maths okay exactly jashwant we have already mastered substitution and now we are learning it so let's have a look at it exactly advait shadow clone yep 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 so if you have integral of the form f of g of x into g dash of x dx so this is a composition of function so we have one function inside another and then you have g dash of x dx got it so when you have such a complicated one what is your first thought process sir it looks so big we can't do it we are in 11th standard it is so so big how do you think we can solve it that is where that is where your substitution method comes into picture because if i take my g of x as t what is my derivative g dash of x dx that is my dt so i can put in place of g of x i can put t and in place of g dash i can put dt are you guys able to get that so now such a big integral reduced into a clean very simple integral which can be calculated in a laddu manner did you guys understand everybody are you all clear with it are you guys able to follow all of you done brilliant brilliant so if you guys are clear and if the concept is fine let us move forward and try to use this substitution method please do it this is a good question this is a good question because it involves something which i taught you in the previous classes exactly altaf i am so happy that you are following it rajendra kumar brilliant man very good very good harshavardhini brilliant job banu has gone for the quick answer and is that correct only time will tell okay so we'll have to wait and see if banu is correct let us see how many of you are solving it what is the difference between vedantu pro light subscription pro classic and pro plus so guys i told you pro pro light will give you access to courses for je mains for example if you are preparing for 2021 you can take pro light subscription there you will be given teaching for example you will be taught classes for your upcoming exam only teaching you will not be given tatwa you will not be given a mentor you will not be given test series but if you want all this sir tatwa is the best material we have heard so much about it all india rank 1 in 2017 as well as 18 they use tatwa so i also want tatwa then you have to go for pro classic because pro classic you will be given tatwa material free got it and you will also be given a personal mentor personal mentor means there will be a person who has studied in a good college like nit iit and so many good places they will monitor you they will ask you 
Kota Sai, did you complete your working today? What did you do today? How to study? When you get demotivated, they will talk to you. So that can help a lot. So initially everybody thinks personal mentor is not required. But guys, I have seen people thank personal mentors more than the teachers. Because personal mentors will guide you through the process. They will be there with you. A teacher can be with you in the class. Because teacher is going to have a lot of job. That is why sometimes it takes a lot of time for me to respond in Instagram. Because I'll be busy in classes. But a personal mentor will be with you. He'll be with you in person. He'll be with you connected all the time. So that can help. And that many toppers have given testimony. If you look at Vedantu's videos, you see toppers will talk a lot about their mentors. Yes, yes. So Kavya, if you have taken the plus subscription, then you will get a mentor. Please call Vedantu and ask them. You will get if you have taken the pro plus subscription. Got it? Tatwa is the method. Tatwa is the package or material of Vedantu. Okay. So like every institute will have a material, right? So Tatwa is the material of Vedantu, which Anand sir prepared when he was starting off with institute Vedantu and the previous institute Lakshya. Okay, so there Anand sir, Vamsi sir and Pulkit sir, they three have put their brains, they have put their hard work and they came out with this precious resource. I'm sure you guys are aware of it. Definitely, I would say go for it. Okay, so here we go. First of all, did you guys observe? Did you know this in differentiation? I taught you this. How many of you remember that? If you don't remember that, it is impossible to solve this question. Okay. So why? Because I taught you logarithmic differentiation. You remember? Now take log y. So if I take log y, I will get x log x. Now differentiate. You will get 1 by y dy by dx is equal to, you will get x into 1 by x plus 1 into ln x. So that is how I got that. Are you clear now? Does that ring a bell? Does that ring a bell? Yes, Sanmita Gauda, you get material from Vedantu. If you take the pro plus subscription for one year fully. If you take for 11th fully pro plus subscription, we will mail the books to your house. You will get hard copy. So in tomorrow's class, I will show you the book. I have it with me. It's in my room. It's in the next room. If you want, I will bring it at the end of today's class. I will show it to you. It is actually brilliant. It's a very good resource. I guess you guys should have it. Okay. So everybody clear with this? So shall I move forward? Guys, can you please quickly answer? I want yes from everybody. Thumbs up. Let's focus on the class. Everybody? Superb guys. Superb. Great job. So with that, let's come back to this question. So I will take, I will take x to the power x as t. So can I say x to the power x into 1 plus ln of x into dx is equal to dt? Are you guys clear with that? So can I say 1 plus ln of x dx is actually equal to dt by x to the power x, which is nothing but t? Are you guys clear till here? So can I write the numerator as dt by t? And can I write the denominator as t square minus 1? What is this? This is nothing but secant inverse. This is nothing but secant inverse of t. So what is t? t is x to the power x. Over laddu, laddu my boys and girls. It's a very simple question. Did you all like it? Hi Pramesh, welcome. Hi VSG, welcome. 
Jashwant is saying, sir, it's a big bulb. Why, man, Jashwant? You got it. Exactly. Did all the ninjas get it? Yes or no? Everybody? Yes, Banu. I will explain it once again quickly. Listen carefully because this was a wonderful question. Okay. So, Banu, the biggest observation was you need to substitute x to the power x as t. Why? Because I know the derivative of x to the power x is x to the power x into 1 plus ln x. So that is my dt. But I don't have this in the numerator. I have only this in the numerator. So I take this guy to the right hand side. So that will be divided by x to the power x. But what is x to the power x? It is t, na? So I wrote it as dt by t. So in place of this, over here, I wrote dt by t. And in the denominator, x to the power 2x, I wrote it as t square. And now this is a direct formula. And you know what? You guys are knowing it. How you guys know it? What are you saying, sir? How do we know it? We don't know this formula, but let me show it to you, okay? Because we did it at the start of today's class, okay? Let's go back. Can you see the formula over here? Can you see the formula over here? What do you see here? 1 by x into root of x square minus a square is equal to 1 by a secant inverse of x by a. In our question, this a was 1. So it will be 1 by 1 secant inverse of x by 1. So did you guys note this down? If you noted it carefully, you would have done it. This is how formulas are useful. Okay, it is not very very difficult. It is just observation based. You guys need to be careful while you observe it. Okay, are you all clear? Everybody? So guys, with this, we will continue in the next class. But are you all up for tonight? Tonight we have PNC. So mark your calendars. 10.30 p.m. Let's have a great time. And, and Kiran was saying a lot of good things. Kiran was saying, sir, if we bring people, can we have some competition? Yes, we have a lot of good stuff planned. Like Vedantu t-shirts. Many of you are asking, sir... You have to give us t-shirts if we bring lot of if you bring lot of people, we can plan it out. Okay, we can have some competition. I'm gonna make some plans for it. Twitter account. I'm not very active in Twitter, man. Exactly. Definitely, man. We will do that. Okay? We need giveaway. Yes, yes, yes. We will plan it out. Jashwan, I will show it in the night class. Okay. So guys, tonight, 10.30, be there on time, sharp. We will start off with PNC and we'll have a great time. Okay? So shall we move forward and we will look at the conclusion. So let me run through that quickly. Okay. So this is the crash course for those who are interested. So guys, right now, there is a discount of 20% for the crash course. If you guys are if you guys are interested, check it out. This is the coupon code SJCC, which stands for Shimon Joseph Crash Course. Okay. And Sunday, I have KVPY. Sunday, I have KVPY session planned for you. Are you guys excited for all my 11 standard tune-ins? So KVPY essay session, geometry. Geometry is being planned for you. So we will have a great time and yes, giveaway. I will plan something. Guys, let's hit a milestone. What do you think is the first milestone? So I will, I will probably keep 50,000 subscribers as the milestone. So when we reach 50,000, I will plan something for you. Okay, that is my guarantee. So till then, you guys have to help us out and obviously do the drill which is join the telegram group. I see that many of you are not in the telegram group. Guys, today I have a surprise announcement. I am coming back with the drill for PNC. 
but I am going to give you the solutions also. It will be given as an assignment, but the assignment will be shared only on Telegram. It will be shared only on Telegram. So if you are not there, you will miss out on the wonderful assignment that the VNTU's channel is preparing for you. So if you want it, be there in the Telegram group. It is just going to take three minutes. Click on this link. It will be there in the description and then be a part of the group. I make all my announcements there. I address all my ninjas over there. And guys, Jashwant is saying that the price right now is 7,500. I think there is a big, big good thing for, for you happening because it should be 8,000. But Jashwant says that it is right now 75. So if you are going for it, please do it. Okay. Yes. So guys, with that, we will conclude our session. All the very best. Do give it a like. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And we will say, we will see at 10.30 p.m. today. Okay. Very, very good, Kiran. That's awesome, man. Hi, Amarnath. Take care, guys. All of you. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. 10.30 p.m. today, sharp.